Hey guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bella's Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! Bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Oh, you guys are all singing it. I know you are. Okay, so it's not really necessarily like a song song like been on the radio, but it is a spider song, and this is. Day number two of my 31 straight days of Halloween crafts. Hey guys, welcome to Bella's Bargains. My name is Amy and today is day number two. One day, two day of Halloween crafts. All right, so these aren't going to be very long videos because how much can I say, you know, about what I'm doing? But... Because today is Sunday, because it's only day number two, we're going to go over this just a little bit, and I'm going to bring you all into the fold. I don't have a Halloween shirt on either. Amy, mm, I don't have 31 shirts. I guess I could just... Hey, you do have a Halloween hat on, so don't even start with me. I messed up the intro yesterday. His Halloween hat wasn't in the intro yesterday's video. Well, that's okay. Effingham, listen, when you can get off that wall and do the editing, then we'll talk about it. But until then, it's me. Me and only me. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, so if you're new to the channel, you should know something. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why, Effingham? Here's your line. Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a... Okay, a dollar and a quarter. I should take Effingham's voice back. That wasn't very good. All right, all right, so... If you are new, you should also know that everything, and I mean everything, my supplies, my crafts, all of it comes from the Dollar Tree. There's a really good reason. I cannot, cannot go to Hobby Lobby, Dollar General, Michaels, Joanne's Fabrics, Walmart. I can't do it. I can't, I don't know. There's not enough time in my life. So I go to Dollar Tree and only Dollar Tree. And I really enjoy the challenge of trying to figure out how do I do it with just Dollar Tree supplies. Okay, so today I made something and... um. I was thinking that I would show it earlier in Halloween because it's kind of one of those things that you could possibly make and you would need it to give to somebody for Halloween. So let's dive into this. 31 straight days of Dollar Tree crafts, all Halloween. Today is day number two and our craft today is, I'm not wearing this shirt that's orange, but I made a shirt that's orange. This is why we sang the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Now I'm gonna go over this really quickly. First of all, this is a Gildan t-shirt that I got from Dollar Tree. That was a dollar twenty-five. It's a small, so I'm really seeing this for like um more like a young a child, obviously. I don't well, there's some adults that could wear this, but it's really, really I was thinking making it for a child. I'm hoping I have enough time to get it in the mail to one of my grandsons. So this is what I did. Um, first of all, I took a Sharpie, you'll see in the video, and I started to make the um spider web. And then it was like, it's so, so hard to get like the sharp lines. And so I had this really cool yarn that's like that super soft yarn. And so I started sewing on my spider web, which actually I think was better and I really like it. This is just a clip on spider, by the way. He just clipped on there. Because obviously when you wash it, you can't have him on there. And then these new ribbons that they have out. I love them. I'm in love with them. So I used their tacky glue that they sell there that has like a baseball hat on it. It's obviously like a, um, a material tacky glue. And I glued on the spiderweb ribbon on the bottom of it. And then the other ribbon was just spiders and I cut them all apart and glued them on. Now, obviously this is gonna have to be cold water washed, right? 
you can't throw this in your hot machine and or cold hand water wash it. And wash. I'm sorry, is there a voice behind my camera? Hand wash. If you're going to talk, you need to come in front of the camera and say what you think. Hmm. And so he sits. <laughs> Evingham said, thank you for sitting. Yes, you're right. He, I thought he said something else, you. Uh-uh, he did not. <laughs> he didn't. All right, so yes, you're right, Marcus. You know, they're going to be very upset that you're not saying hello to them. They come to the kitchen. They come and visit us often in the kitchen. And then and then you hide like a little baby. Come say... I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm come here. Come of... here and say happy Halloween to the besties. He's worried about his hair. That man worries more about his hair than I do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Because nothing's going on with my hair. It's not going anywhere. Oh, but um, bum. That was good. I'm not worried about my hair. You, yeah, you should be. I might shave it off in the middle of the night. You never know. Uh, so you back. think I should hand wash this? Do you I like this shirt? Uh, yes, I do. It would never fit you. Oh, cut off the sleeves and let me wear it. Nope. Uh-uh. Anyway, um, so this is what I made today. Hello, besties. Okay, goodbye. Go. All right, so <clears throat> anyway, this is what I did. So now I'm going to show you how I made it. So let's look, let's look at how I made this. I have this shirt, which is an adult small, but I feel like it's probably more for like a little, a kid or something. Anyway, I'm going to make it um, just a cute Halloween t-shirt. So I'm going to take the really cute ribbon here that is, you know, the spider web and put that on. I'm going to use a Sharpie and draw a spider. And then I'm going to cut out spiders to put all over the shirt. I'm just going to glue them on. So it's going to be super cute and super easy. I used a big black marker from the Dollar Tree to start my spider web. Um, so this is like I could have just left it the Sharpie, by the way, or whatever. You know what I mean? And I was trying to darken it up, make the lines thicker. I just didn't, I don't know, it really, I could have left it, but I decided to go ahead and like use that yarn and make it a little more three dimensional and give it a little more depth just on the spider web. Okay, so that's what I do. I get a big needle. I did not get the big needle from the Dollar Tree. I had it in my sewing stash. So this th um, yarn though, it kind of like bunches up. So I had to take my time, but in the end, I mean, it really, I think it came out really cool. I like it. But I started in the middle and I just went line by line. And then I would go over um, each line when I went to a new one so that there would be like a crossover just to help keep the yarn down to the t shirt. And then I did, obviously, I go back in later and I glue it. This was a little tedious, but I don't know. It, I do like the way it came out. So I guess. You could also use like puffy paint to make a spider web. Uh, another idea. Or I suppose just regular acrylic paint too. But to get your lines straight would be harder. With the puffy paint, you know, they've got the the point on the end of it so you can just sort of draw it out. Anyway, okay. So after I got the, the whole spider web all on there and everything. Um... I was trying to make sure as I was doing it too that I didn't bunch up the material. Like you couldn't pull the yarn too tight. Does that make sense? Because then you would bunch up your material. Okay. So you guys can watch me sew the rest of this here. That's kind of boring. I didn't have to film this much of it. While we watch me fumble through the rest of this um, spider web, don't forget to give me a great big thumbs up. Tell me um, 
you know, if you would have done something different on the shirt or if you like the shirt or whatever. Anyway, chatter always helps the channel grow. So this is just day number two of my 31 straight days of Halloween. And so I think you're going to see a lot of different uh, crafts with a lot of different decorating styles and maybe a couple more shirts even. Um, anyway, this was fun to do. I think I do know who I'm going to give it to. I had to think about it and then I was like, oh yeah. So I'm definitely giving this shirt away. Okay, so let's go back. So I'm going to finish up the sewing here. And then um, I took that tacky glue, which is it's a Dollar Tree. It's in their craft section. I don't think I show you the bottle. I'm so sorry, but it has a nice tip on it. And so that's it made it super easy for just gluing these spider web pieces down so they would stay and not be floppy on the shirt. Um, and then I took some foam and I glued it into the back of one of those clip-on spiders. And then I glued, it wasn't a clip-on spider, but I glued a clip into it so that I could clip that onto the spider web. Then this is blurry, don't know why. But it's just me gluing the spider web ribbon on the bottom. And then I clipped the spider, so I put a clip on that spider so it could be removed for washing. And then I just started cutting out all these little spiders. Just used that same, like, fabric glue. It doesn't say fabric glue. It just, ah, oh, what does it say? But there's like a baseball hat on it with glitter. So they're showing you that it can be used for fabric. Anyway, works amazing actually. Um, I will be using more of this stuff. And then I just put those all over it and voila, it was done. I think this came out super cute. It is super easy. And so tell me what you think. Pretty easy, right? So I have 31 crafts coming at you this whole month and some of them are gonna be easier than other ones, but you guys know I really do try and make it something that almost anybody could do. I don't like to be super difficult. The only thing that I'm ever gonna do that I can't really say like this is exactly how you do it is when I'm painting and blending colors. But this, this is exactly how I did it and you guys just saw it. So I think this is super cute and I actually think it's super cute for like a boy. The only thing is, I wonder if maybe the trim on the bottom would be, don't do that if you're making it for a boy. But either way, it's a super cute Halloween shirt. And the cost on this, you guys, are you ready? $1.25 for the t-shirt. And the rest of this is just supplies in my craft supplies. That's so amazing. So they're gonna wear maybe only once. I'm okay with that at that price. So tell me what you think. And, um, and obviously you're seeing a video, you saw a video of stuff that I've made. So the rest of those things are going to come out later this week. So I'll see you back here tomorrow for day number three of 31 straight days of Halloween. Gonna run out of songs. That's for sure. But that's okay. I just did it see Bitsy Spider. Not even really a Halloween song. Or is it? When you think about it, it is a spider. All right, guys, everybody have a great day, great week, a great life. And as always, from your singing crafty crafter Effingham, what do we say? <laughs> Not bad. Happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. We'll see you back here tomorrow for day number three. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, big thumbs up. Big, big thanks.